Hey Brian with RVOTito.com. How's it going? Yeah, it's it's true. I've had my uh, first flexible solar panel uh, fail on me that's up here on the roof. I've been noticing some uh, some low output for this uh, series of three uh, these flexible panels that I have and uh, through a process of elimination I've been able to isolate this panel as being the one that's not performing and I've even uh, plugged in uh, another good replacement panel just kind of connected it in its place and everything just kind of jumped back up and was just fine so I thought I'd uh, remove it from the roof here and uh, do some testing so we can maybe figure out what went wrong and uh, maybe even fix it so that's what we're gonna do today and uh, the first thing I got to do though is, is yeah I got to get it all this uh, decor removed and get the panel off the roof so Better get started with that. Well, the panel's removed, everything's off and uh, cleaned up and resealed. Now, you might have noticed that I tried something a little bit different to get that uh, die core off uh, by heating up the, uh, the little blade of the scraper. And uh, it actually worked really, really well, but you really gotta be careful and take it slow uh, because I did puncture uh, the, uh, the membrane in a couple areas. <sighs> but I fixed it. So I went back and uh, cleaned everything off with some mineral spirits to get the remainder of that uh, decor up and then uh, wiped up those uh, edges down with, um, with some rubbing alcohol and uh, then put down some, uh, some Eternabon tape to seal up the uh, screw holes and, uh, and a couple other little you know nicks that I ended up puncturing through there. But luckily they're near the screw hole so I was able to uh, kind of just use one bigger piece of a turnabon to seal it up nice. Now I'm going to be uh, probably mounting the, the other panel that I replace it with a little bit differently so um, I went ahead and just kind of put some turnabon down for now. It's going to all be covered up uh, when I put the new panel down. Now once I remove the panel I noticed that there's just a little bit of discoloration on the surface of the uh, the roof here just a little bit. So you kind of see where little brown spots are. They're very faint, but it's nothing serious, but you can definitely tell where the cells were um, in that panel. So yeah, you can see here's some lines here <laughs> that were obviously between the solar cells. So, I mean, if anything, it looks like they're all pretty evenly cranking out uh, power. That tells me that there definitely is some uh, heat transfer directly on that uh, on, on the roof here didn't do any damage or anything but and I don't know how much it would have uh, affected the performance but I didn't really notice anything in the future I'm gonna do something a little different like I mentioned and uh, probably do a, a slightly different way to mount it I'm not gonna screw them in anymore but I will uh, be putting some sort of insulated backing on the panel but uh, you know, this is all experimentation. You know, I think this next approach is going to be the one, though. But you know, I have to try a few things before you get it right. All right, well, let's go check out that uh, that bad panel and see if we can figure out uh, what went wrong and why it's not working. Okay, the first thing I noticed uh, when I was troubleshooting this panel, uh, isolating it from the rest, is that uh, it was generating some voltage. So let's take a look at it real quick. So if you look at the voltage right now, it's putting out 18.6 volts DC right now, which, you know, seemed like, okay, the panel was okay, but I think it should be putting out a little bit more. But if we were to switch over to uh, check the current, it wasn't outputting any current, so let's do that real quick. 
change my meter over to do a current measurement. We'll go over to amps. And we see that it's putting out, you know, 0 0.05. So it's hardly putting out any current at all, barely a trickle. Uh, so yeah, no current coming out of this, but there is voltage. So there is, so that was a starting point. So you see now it's putting out like 19.5. So there's no current flowing through this panel, but uh, just for reference, let me uh, check it with a another panel that I know is, is operating properly and uh, we can check the voltage and current on that one. Now this is a, a newer, it's probably about a, still a year or so old, but it's a newer HQST panel. Same setup, uh, same same specs. So let's first just check the uh, voltage, see what we get. If we go to volts, yeah it's putting out 19.4 volts right now, which is uh, I guess similar to the one that's bad. So the bad one's putting up voltage, so is this one. Now let's check the current, which on the other one was the problem. It wasn't generating any current. So we'll go over to my 10 amp setting and we'll switch over to amps. The good one's putting out four and a half, roughly four and a half amps. So obviously there's a problem with the other one uh, not putting out any current. So now we can try to find uh, find the problem. All right, so if we take a quick look at the uh, just the outer part of the panel here. I mean, I have it on the current setting. You can see it's not drawing any current at all. So, but if we take a look, you know, there's really nothing obvious here that is burning or any hot spots or anything weird. Sure, it's it's pretty weathered <laughs> and scratched up. And there is this one spot here that I thought might be interesting that might be a problem. It looks like there's just been a little bit of peeling of the uh, the outer layer, but it doesn't look like there's any cracks or anything like that. I know there's just a lot of scratches here, probably from crows and other critters. Yeah, let's take a quick look at some of the temperature readings on here, because if there's a hot spot and if there's current flowing through it, it might pop up. Let's look at that cell there, see if we can get anything. So 104. Right now there's a little bit of shading going on, 106. 106. A little shaded, 106, 107. So yeah, pretty consistent, 107. If we look at the top here, maybe a little bit warmer. Yeah, it looks like some more direct sun, so 111. So nothing really obvious here. So we turn around, there's nothing really burnt or there's no spots that I can see that might be some part of the panel that's uh, that's fried. But it looks good. It looks pretty solid. Actually, it looks like it's held up pretty well. Um, just, just those scratches and weathering on the front of the panel. So the next thing to check is really to uh, to go take a look at the... Um, the junction box here. So this is a just a really small little junction box. So just the cables coming out from the positive and negative side. But I'm I'm thinking there's a there's a diode in there that we can check to see if maybe it's gone bad. All right, let's uh, crack open this junction box here. Let me see. If I, I think I've opened this before. Let's just loosen up the seal here. Looks like probably just pry it up. Yeah, there we go. So there's some insulator material here, some sealant. I could probably peel a lot of this away. Okay, so there's a little diode in here. So here's my uh, my negative output, my positive output, and there's a diode in here, right there. So we can peel away around it here, so we can get a get a little meter on it. All right, it looks like I uh, scraped away enough of this material around the diode here, so I should be able to test it. Now it's not connected right now, so not shorted out. So I have a diode setting on my meter. It's under the ohms resistance setting. So if I go to there and then uh, I can hit select and it switches to the diode symbol so I can test the diode. So I should be able to if it's working as a diode should, I should get some sort of uh, conductivity across it in one direction, but not the other. So the OL basically means there's nothing flowing in between, nothing can flow, so there's no connection. 
Now if I switch it to the other side, it looks like I'm getting a little bit of a voltage drop. So this uh, diode setting measures the voltage drop across the diode. So yeah, 0.1 volts. And if I switch it to the other one, to the other side, it should be no flow across there. So no voltage drop. So it looks like it's probably working as a diode should, but uh, I don't know what the resistance should be on this particular diode. It might be faulty, but let's see with the resistance real quick. So if I go to just flat out ohms for resistance, it's nothing in that direction. Now if I rotate it, looks like I got about 193 ohms. Now I don't know, that might be a little too low, which might be causing the uh, causing this thing to short circuit a little bit. So you just kind of let the current flow through instead of going through the panel. So since this uh, panel's already kind of toast, what I'm going to do is just take this diode out and then I'm going to see what that does and see if uh, that makes any change with the uh, panel output. All right, let's give it a check here with the diode out. Now, I'm not sure if the diode is bad or not. It looked like it might have been actually good. So let's check the voltage first. Let's see if we're still good. 10, 11, 14. Okay, <laughs> change my angle. Okay, so I'm getting some voltage out of here now. The sun's kind of blocked by some clouds, so it's having a bit of a problem. Now let's check the, the amps real quick. The true test, see if we actually made a difference. Nope. Still no amps uh, coming through the panel. Nothing happened in there. So it's uh, definitely toast. There's something inside the panel that, uh, that I can't access and can't fix. So check the voltage one more time. Yeah, so it's up to 16.7. Voltage is climbing, 17. Just no amps. Well, I was hoping it was gonna be a, a bad diode or something like that that I could easily replace and go, look what I did, I replaced it and fixed this panel. But obviously it's it's something else that uh, caused it to fail, something that we'll never know. Um, but it's definitely toast. I enjoy uh, kind of going through this process and learning from it and I hope you learned something as well. Yeah, let me know if you have comments and uh, questions about this whole process. Take care, see you in the next one.